In this video, we'll learn to group discrete data and represent it graphically. What is discrete data first? Discrete data is different from continuous data in that we don't have numbers like 4.83, so a different values which include decimals as well, whereas discrete data is more like specific values. If you look at sizes of clothes, it can only be, let's say, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, and so on. They can't be 12.3. So those sizes of clothes are called discrete data. They can't be continuous, like the decimals. So the values that I have here, they are marks received in a test by students. So the mark can only be 7, it can't be 7.2, for example. So you can't, can only get 6, not 6.3. So it's most of the time whole numbers and specific values. So we'll need to group these data, this set, of, this set of data, and represent it graphically. So what I have done, I've grouped them into fail, pass, merit, and distinction because that's how I can input them in the system. So I have looked at how many learners got between zero and three, so zero, one, two, or three. And it was, there's one here, two, and another one there, so three in total. So that, that's why I put three. So frequency means how many of them or how often this is appearing. And pass, is either four or five so I went one there is a pass there two three four passes and merit either six or seven so I went one two three four five six seven so seven in total and distinction there was just one because there was only one eight in there so I've grouped the discrete data here and I'm going to show it graphically. So in this graph, I'll have these different groups. So we have fail, we have pass, merit, and distinction. So um, it goes only up to seven, so I'll start with zero, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So how many received fail? There was three of them, so one, two, three, and I've just shown that. And there we have pass. So there was four of them. And merit was seven. And distinction just one. And I can double check. Now, what I can add here as well is I could have the number of marks. So instead of saying grade and frequency, I could have frequency there and number of marks. And then I'll put marks from 0 to 3. So 0 to 3. And then here it'd be 4 to 5. 6 to 7, 8 to 9. But either way is perfectly fine. So either saying the marks and putting the marks down, or saying grade and putting fail, pass, merit, or distinction. And of course, we'd need a title. So here we'd write something about what this graph represents. So something along the lines of marks that a class received in their maths test, for example, or the grade that learners received in a maths test in a class at college, 
or if you want to be a bit more specific you can write the class title or number